Hello YouTube, sorry I haven't uh, uploaded anything in the past few days, but basically this, sorry, this is what I've been working on. It's uh, my final project for my computer engineering course. Yeah, basically it's a uh, hardware and stuff, robotics, etc, etc. And just because it's made out of Lego does not mean it was definitely fun to make. Because this part right here, this part right here was uh, just a bitch to me, okay? Yeah. So basically what this is, is a gumball sort of. So basically there's a gumball right here. I don't even, I don't know, the camera quality isn't that great, but sorry. Um, yeah, gumballs basically. You load up your gumballs here. It, this thing here, make sure that only one gumball at a time, just one, only one, goes through here. And this thing over here, I don't know if you can exactly see it, that little blue thing right there. That's your color sensor. That thing will sense what color it is. And then after that, it will go down this conveyor belt right here into these containers. These type of containers. Uh, the containers are sorted by this track right here. It's that motor. This motor here. It basically spins and changes the container for whichever color is sensed here. Now, currently at this time, I don't have it programmed to do anything because... Stupid YouTube, you guys distracted me so much and I got so much exams. Ugh. But I'll definitely show it to you if I can. When I, once I get a program, that's if I get a program. I'll try to, because obviously if I don't, I will not do well on this final project. And basically, here's a view around it. So, that's this thing right here. That's the microchip. That's the brain of the... Brain of it. Well, I will connect all the wires to it. Wires and everything to it. It's not a lot. Just the motors and this color sensor here. Yeah, it's very basic engineering. I know it's... I know all you other guys, all you other crazy engineers can do better than me. Like I said, I didn't have, I didn't have much time to do this. This is very non-professional, I would say. Let's get a good view about it. That's how big it is. See, that's how big my hand is. That's how big it is. So like I was saying before, this part took me the longest to make. It was the most challenging part to do, the most hardest part to do. Why? Because I'd say it's somewhat the most important part. Because without this part, you'd be seeing five gumballs being loaded at once. And this sensor right here, it's only one tiny little bulb. See it right there? Tiny little thing in the middle. That little black part can only handle one ball at a time. So basically, this sword, this little spinny thing right here was most important and that's why I had to work uh, that's why this thing took nearly forever for me to make it it was just so much raging just to make this thing rage even more than it played in the game so my first revision of it was like this it was like I don't know if you can see this but it was basically see this wheel it's one wheel there's a second wheel basically two lego wheels and some gears gear spin and supposedly the wheels of traction so I thought oh you can hold on to gumballs from that wasn't that simple? I was like, damn, so what do I do now? Then it came to me, to maybe we should do something like this, where it was spinning, that each gumball would go in right here. Oh, darn it. Try it again. Each gumball would go in right here, from where it's loaded. It would spin to its location and be dropped off. Yeah, and that's one of the problems I had with this design, because it would always get stuck there. Also, that these little, that these pieces right here, this piece right here, would always troll me. It would be like troll face. Because it would make the piece, the spinning part, slightly too long. So it would always jam in these gears right here. And finally, here with this design. So basically, here's a cross section of it. I just took it apart. It's not that hard to take apart and put it back together. But like this, it's. Like my previous design, except more refined, I took out those retarded trolling pieces because those pieces really annoying me. And I've actually found a better design. See these little, these little yellow things here and black, random black one. Basically, they're meant to stop other pieces, other gumballs from going in because you know when one gumball goes in like this, grabs it. But then usually another gumballs get stuck there. But these, the ramp pieces basically stop them from coming up. They say no, nope, you can't come up. You have to wait for your turn. And then, yeah, it basically unloads it and waits for the next one to come here. Sorry, I, I can't really show you a better example. I'll just show you 
my hand because I only have one hand. Like I have one hand to film, one hand to use this thing. It's quite hard. It's quite hard. Oh dear, it's slipping. It's more hard than it looks. Way harder than playing my games and just talking at the same time. Okay, let's try this once more. Hopefully, it'll work this time. There it goes. To the color sensor. And it's good. Oh yeah, that's uh that's it for you. I wish I could have done more. More time, more refinement, but you know, I can't do much now. I have to present this thing right after I'm done filming, like I said. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it.